What's going on everyone? Trevor Hansen here. Thanks for joining us on the Wake Channel today. Um, I'm super excited because I am sitting inside of my newly delivered boat. Um, Supra just dropped this thing off to me this weekend. Um, I got a brand new 2023 SE 550. Um, I'm super excited to have it. Um, so I thought that I would take this opportunity to kind of show you guys what I do to get familiar with a new boat. Um, every time that you get a new boat or if you're a first time boat owner, there's systems um, that you need to learn and familiarize yourself with um, just kind of the whole layout of the boat and how to get familiar with it so that your first couple times out on the water aren't frustrating and you can just go out there and enjoy it so let's uh, let's take a couple steps and just kind of go over some stuff that'll help you uh, when you get a new boat and what you should check out So one of the first things that I like to do when I get in a new boat is actually go ahead and open all of the compartments. Um, flip up each seat, uh, that way you get an idea of the storage and you also get an idea of what seats um, come out of the boat completely, which ones are on hinges, which way they open and etc. cetera. Um, so this seat right here, it flips up, it's on a hinge. I've got a nice big storage area. This one is also on a hinge um, and it goes all the way through for storage. So that's super nice. I know that I don't need to worry about trailering and the seat cushion flying out or anything. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that you want to know. Um, a lot of these seats aren't actually storage um, underneath there. Some of them flip up into seats. So you just want to go through the whole boat and pick up each seat and really check and examine how they open. Um, do they come out and is it a seat or is it storage underneath there? Some of the features of the new seating that's available in today's wakeboard boats are really cool, but you definitely wanna make sure that you get familiar with how they work. Like this bench seat, it slides back into place and then it flips up, but it doesn't just flip up. So you've got another handle right here that flips it up into a table and then another one that flips it over into the seat. And then it's locked here and you've got another pin right here that folds it back down. So you wanna make sure that you get familiar with all of that stuff. That way when you are out there on the water and you've got a boatload of people, you're not fiddling around with the seat trying to figure out how it works. One of the next things that you're gonna to wanna to do after you figure out all your storage um, is find out where all your creature comforts are in the boat. There's a lot of uh, stuff that's built into these boats. Um, like right here, we've got wireless charging, um, the USB ports that are in the boat for when you wanna charge stuff. It's nice to know where all of that stuff is. One of the most important areas in the whole boat is the cooler. So you definitely wanna make sure you know where that is. We've got one right here built into the floor and then I've got another soft cooler option up underneath the OB seat. Another important area is the garbage can. Um, this boat's got built-in garbage can, so you've got this little door right here. There's a trash can inside. Throw your garbage in there, good to go. So after you found all of your comfort items, um, the next thing that you wanna do is familiarize yourself with your uh, general maintenance and safety stuff. Um, stuff like where the batteries are, where the battery switch is. Um, some of the boats have onboard chargers, so you're, or battery chargers, so you're gonna wanna find those. Um, stuff like your fire extinguisher, your horn, um, all that stuff is things that you need to know where they're located when you, if you were to run into a situation where you got pulled over by a water patrol, um, you need to be able to show them um, all that stuff. So you wanna know where it is on the boat uh, and make sure that you can find it quickly. Next step is the tower. Um, all of the wakeboard boats now have got some pretty cool towers on them. All of them work differently. Um, some are power towers, some manually fold down. Um, there's a ton of different kind of board racks and bimini's. Um, each one has its own way that it works and how to operate it. So it's definitely wise to spend a couple of minutes working on your tower, making sure that you understand um, how it folds down, if you need to fold it down, how your board racks swivel in, how they clamp the board down, and then how your bimini goes up and gets put away. So now we've gone through the whole boat, the tower, you kind of understand where everything is. Um, now it's jump into the meat and the potatoes. Right here at the driver's seat, this is where the boat is controlled um, and where all the really important systems are that you definitely need to know as the owner and the driver of the boat. Um, you need to know where all your speed controls are, um, your rider profiles, your audio settings um, for your stereo, um, lights for safety and for uh, when you're running. Um, there's a lot of stuff that are built into these screens and these systems and it's really smart to spend a lot of time familiarizing yourself with 
how each one works and a lot of times like especially in this boat there's multiple different ways to operate everything so i can do my my volume and my um my surf controls all that stuff right here on the steering wheel i can also do it on the screens um, so it's important to know that and figure out how you're going to use it and which way is easiest for you so that's it that's how i familiarize myself with my boat um, you know like i said we just put this thing in the water so i'm trying to find everything um, when you get your first boat or uh, a new boat definitely check with your dealer um, a good dealer is going to run you through everything that we just did um, but you want to make sure that you read your manuals um, locate all the stuff there's a lot of stuff on the internet to type in your model um, help you find out everything that you need to know about your specific boat um, but this is just a good way to walk through and uh, make sure that you uh, are familiar with your boat can't wait to show you guys more i'm super excited to have this new uh, supra and uh, we'll be doing some more videos here soon showing you how to weight the boat um, for the first time and that kind of stuff so appreciate you guys joining us see you next time